Then move not while prayer's effect I take. <laughs> Sorry. Then move not while prayer's effect I take. Oh! <laughs> then move not while prayer's effect I take. But this ain't no play like you've seen it before. So choose your own Shakespeare adventure. We're gonna have polls and ways for you to interact with the show directly. You get to vote on what happens during the scenes. And we're gonna have special guests. Y'all heard about this Romeo fella? He's the talk of the town. The Capulets and the Montagues. This is the confrontation we've been waiting for. One look, a flirty conversation, and she's all in. Romeo originally showed up to hook up with an entirely different girl. This time, Daddy Capulet says yes. Oh. Oh. Romeo runs off with Friar Lawrence, mascara all smeared. And all the crying and the screaming. I think it's gonna be an unprecedented live internet event. Buy your tickets today at tryguys.com slash Romeo to watch or not to watch. <laughs> There's no question there. Prepare, Prepare to, to get double scooped! Oh, 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 Sabby oh, Sab! Today we are learning stage combat. You wanna touch tips? Yeah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you lunge, you parry, you thrust. In this final episode of the Try Shakespeare series, we are going to, of course, beat the shit out of each other. Today we're trying stage combat. Now, I actually have the upper hand today because I did a little stage combat in college. Again, I'm a theater graduate. I have a theater degree. I have a BS in theater, which sounds hilarious, and it is. I've never trained with a weapon. I'm a very gentle man. You can catch these hands because they'll be coming very slow at you. <laughs> In stage combat, we're creating the illusion of violence. And the other objective with what we're doing is we're trying to tell a story. My name is Mary Spawn. I'm the owner of Sword Play LA, which is a fencing and theatrical combat studio. I've been a competitive fencer for probably more than 15 years. I started when I was five. And, wow. and then eight years ago, I made the transition to theatrical combat. Am I right in saying it's basically kind of like a dance? Dancers that come in here always do really well at just picking up the movements because it's very balletic. The footwork and the tempo and distance and you, you have to be in movement with your dance partner, per se. Sick, I'm gonna crush this. Nice, yeah, you're very balletic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start with our basic on guard position. We're gonna bend our knees in like a low plie. Put your right hand out in front. That's gonna be eventually the hand holding the weapon. It's sort of like aggressive server. Like if your server <laughs> came to you with chicken strips, like, ha! Ah. <laughs> Keeping your shoulders pulled back and down and your hips being underneath you the whole time. Not behind you, but oh. under you. <laughs> Ew, what do you mean ew? <laughs> you mean ooh. So our first step is our advance. Heel toe, stepping forward, back foot's gonna follow. Now to go backwards is retreat. We're stepping back and front foot is gonna follow. How does that feel so Great. far? Great, just Great. doing this, my arms are tired. Yes. I just wanna say for the record, there's no weight in them and right. I, I'm not loving the experience yeah. physically. You just wait till you get a sword then. <laughs> These are sabers. Our thumb is gonna go on the top all the way by the guard. Our index finger is gonna pinch underneath like yeah. that. And then the rest of our fingers are going to wrap around. It's not the way that I naturally would hold this. Yes, the reason we engage the, the fingers is we want to avoid gripping it like a baseball bat because then we start swinging it like it's a club. It's kind of like holding a key to unlock a door. Yes, yes it is. So I did try fencing for uh, an Olympics video we did in the past. It was fun. Who doesn't like holding swords? A cut is a, a slicing <laughs> movement. A thrust is a stabbing movement. But if you ever meet a guy and they have like a wall full of swords, you know that's like a red flag. Especially if it's a white guy with samurai swords. Get out of that tape, girl. We always want to use either supination with the hand where the palm is up or pronation where the palm is down. Soup nation. Soup nation, exactly. <laughs> proud member soup of soup nation. nation. Uh, Zach exactly. is probably the president of the soup nation. The six targets are six inches off of the shoulders for arms, six inches off of the hips for legs, and then six inches either side of the head for the head. When I advance, notice I'm going with blade first and I'm landing at that 
targets. Can you zor on me where like you have a flurry of this and then my clothes and fall like, off? <laughs> <laughs> oh! I have to fight a lot in this show. I, I'm playing Romeo, so I gotta learn how to... Oh, you hear my freaking thing pop? <laughs> Shit. Soup Nation. Crow Nation. Pro Nation. Finish the whole step. Oh, I step all the way you to You should him. step step all the way, yes. So I go like that. Yes. This made me very nervous. Yeah. Very nervous <laughs> attacking anyone with a big old piece of metal. You don't want to hurt them not accidentally. <laughs> I really want to hit you, but I, I bet. <laughs> I, I would want to hit me too. Each target has a corresponding parry. So if I'm defending, I'm pushing the blade outward. I advance and cut towards your shoulder. You're going to retreat. Retreat. And just like that. Matthew Perry. If I anticipate it, then it looks looks like choreography. Wow. Cool. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Do we look cool? You look cool. Rachel. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it is slow right now. We're trying to be slow. We're safe. <laughs> yes, exactly. Hell yeah. Nice. Woo! I'm gonna watch this one just to see. Two, three. Just as graceful as them. <laughs> what we're all finding is that when we're with you, we look awesome. When we're with each other, we look very Less. unsure. So we have some cutlasses. These blades are made of aluminum, and you can see the end could still be very much dangerous. Yep. Yeah. This one's made of steel. You'll feel right away once you hold it. It's just. Oh like, yeah. No thank you. Yeah. We're gonna be allowing people to vote on what happens. So during a fight scene, we may not be using swords. We may be using fish or dildos or balloons or other people or candy. Or pop tarts. Mm -hmm. Or Zach's arms. Or uh, Zach's legs. Or like an inflatable bear. Or two inflatable bears. bears. <laughs> so how do we fight in that context? Um, I mean, in any, I guess in any way you can. We're gonna take that same shoulder cut and we're gonna do it with uh, a cross forward basically. So I'm gonna step and cross and you're gonna cross your feet going like that. Once we land here, we're gonna do what's called a bind or an envelopment. So we're gonna move, the blades are gonna oh. create that kind of sliding Yeah, I love effect. that sound. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, make him look super cool. Make him look cool. Make me look cool. <laughs> <laughs> Did it make him look cool? <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna create some space by stepping back. I'm in supination here. And right when the blade swings through is when you're React. reacting. You move with me. Let's say it's a stab. Then there has to be, your shoulder's going inward. And then when I yank the blade out, it's going with me, yeah. actually, because the blade's stuck. And it then it's a rip, yeah. Because I think most people think this action. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Oh. Ow! Ow! What's the story we're trying to tell? Romeo and Juliet go to Vegas on a crazy bender. They get into a fight with someone who cut them in line for ice cream. <laughs> and now... You're getting Vegas ice cream. Pay yeah. the price. Okay. Some weapons. Really? Here. Funny swords. So I feel like since Eugene's the odd, odd man out, he should have the, bold. the cool one. That's, that's honestly cool. less safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess ice cream. You scream, yeah. yes, we, all we all scream. scream for ice cream. I'm on my course. sixth taste for my life. I'll try the right. Brambleberry. Of mm. course. Hi, yes. can I just get the, the Neapolitan, um, please? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you'll see at Rome and Juliet Live. <laughs> this Ooh. sword is fing heavy. Yeah, it's this really is, heavy. Yeah. Don't like love that. this. Golly gosh. And I want to ask about that free hand, the 
left hand. Yes. How do you make it look cool? Depends on character. This is gonna play a little bit differently than something like this versus something like this. How would your character fight? What's that left hand doing? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'd be behind the back type of guy. It's cocky, it's cocky, it's a dick move. It's kind of a dick move, yeah. So if we start like, excuse me. Get him, honey. If he's not moving, how do I like play with my feet and not move? Am yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, so you can be like jumping in and out of distance. So like, <laughs> I see. <laughs> a cut for a cut. <laughs> 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 I go steady. Yeah, and when you do that, you can like spin Ooh, through it. Yeah. yeah. Stabby. Whoa. Exactly. How do we want the fight to end? Is there? I, I die. Oh. A cut for a cut. Oh, you're terrible. I am. <sighs> Can I try the Rocky Roads? No notes. That was no that notes. Felt more fluid. <laughs> Are we doing it here? Yeah. Can we just go to a Baskin Robbins and <laughs> see if they're chill? Hey, I like everything I've tried, but I've got to try okay. the Brambleberry one more time. Sure, uh, honey, sure. you already tried the Brambleberry. I know, but I just want to try it one more time. <laughs> Could I get the mango sherbet? <laughs> Just one scoop, please. Okay. Excuse yeah, me. I was in line. That's a very tall woman. Actually, I would love to oh, get the pistachio. Excuse me. The lady was ordering. That is a very tiny man. You know what would be really delicious? Neapolitan. Excuse me. Oh, is this a duo? Mmm, no. It's a true. <laughs> Stand back, honey. I will defend your honor. I'm gonna wipe his ass. Mm, with what? Your tongue? Ew. A cut for a cut! Thank <laughs> 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 you. You want some of this? I do want some of this. How much do you want? This much! Ah. And that much! <laughs> and this much! Uh. And here! Whoa! Prepare, Prepare to, to get double scooped! That was so stupid! Oh! Oh! Sebby oh, 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 oh. How could you get between a lady and her ice cream? Oh, a lady? Where? I see no lady. Oh, you know she's hot as hell! Oh, 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 oh. What are you gonna order, by the way? Pistachio! Oh! oh. oh. True. <sighs> My one weakness, <laughs> getting stabbed. Looks like you're on a rocky road. No, no, to no, hell. no, no. <laughs> 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 uh, you're still very ugly. <laughs> I know we were ordering ice cream, but it just got hot in here. Tastier banana split. I'm gonna scoop your. We'll okay. workshop it. You can wipe my ass. <laughs>